All right, today we're going to take a look at my SDR software defined radio. I got uh, two different models. Basically, you can find online that uh, they'll look like this little USB doggles that you'll plug into your computer. And I'm going to use GQRX to view the ATSC digital television signals off of my antenna here in the background. All right, so I'm in a program called GQRX. What I'm doing is I'm looking at the radio spectrum. And so here I am looking at channel eight, WWNY out of Watertown, New York. And this is the ATSC signal. So I can turn up the volume here, but all you hear like is a little bit like of a, kind of a, I don't know if you can hear that, but just to sound like that. Channel eight, now here's uh, the broadcast channel that's closest to me, which is channel 11 and uh, everything's moved up a little bit. Channel 11 actually does broadcast, CKWS does broadcast digital channel 11, and it's just one channel. There's no sub-channels. Well, it's Canadian TV. I don't know if there's any sub-channels on Canadian TV. I think there is in some areas, but very few. So this is my Thor broadcast ATSC modulator. So it's just a little spike for that and uh, it just runs one channel as well. All right, to give you a comparison from digital to an analog, this is analog. This is what an analog television signal looks like. So I'm gonna bookmark this in as channel three. Where's my bookmark? There it is. Uh, NTSC. So this could tell me if there's any leakage of a VCR or anything like that in the area you can see if there's any signal on that frequency I have a home video playing um, in the background off my alert tech box so this is the analog audio for channel 3 We're at 61.21.25 uh, megahertz and the audio carrier is at 65.75 megahertz so let's go through some of these channels here. So this one, oh, it is coming in right now, which would be channel 9.1 WSYR. So I wrote down here my my bookmarks that it's channel 17. This one uh, comes in as UHF channel 18. It's CBS channel 5.1. Same thing with this one. It's a channel 3, but it's actually on 500 megahertz, 500, 310 megahertz, or 500 megahertz, 300 and uh, whatever, however you would say that. So it's channel 19, NBC3. Uh, WVNBC, channel 45.1, but it scans in as channel 24. So just give you a, an idea of that. I'm just going to pull up my HD home run configuration tool. So if I go to say channel 20, 24 key that in there so I'll see that program there so this channel actually has seven channels I don't think the home shopping channel has been broadcasting anything it's been, been black the last few days but it'll have court TV QVC balance grit antenna TV which shows like class it's kind of like me TV it shows like old classic TV shows Mork and Mindy and stuff like that WVNBC which is like just uh, a local Watertown New York NBC affiliate. A lot of people don't really realize that there's a Watertown, New York NBC station only started a few years ago. And there's CKWS, which is just one channel. This is using my HD home run. And so this one, if you you live in the this my area, Kingston, Ontario, uh, Watertown, New York, or Brockville, uh, Smith Falls, or whatever, if you watch Channel 7 on, on an antenna, they did switch channels. It used to be Channel 7, now they're Channel 8 with a repack. So here's channel 50, which is actually 31, physical channel 31. It's got uh, ABC, uh, CW Network, Laugh, and Mystery. So it has a, a few uh, sub-channels. And the one with this channel, too, is uh, when you have seven sub-channels, like uh, 24 has. Let's go to 24. The video quality is not as good. It used to be really good when it was just two, but then they added uh, the, all these other channels. 
So now Antenna TV, the bitrate looks lower quality than what it used to be. But that's they're fitting seven channels with ATSC one with with uh, this <laughs> this amount of uh, of uh, radio frequency bandwidth. So what else is there? So here's uh, PBS, which I just looked at, and there's channel 50. You see a little change here on the waterfall from when I changed the channel. Please check out freesatellitetv.net and also check out the new shop where you can order free satellite TV, LMBs, receivers, and dishes, all sorts of things for your free-to-air needs over at the freesatellitetv.net shop. So please subscribe to my channel. With subscribing, you'll be able to see when my latest videos come out and also check out some of my live streams where you can ask me in the chat room some of your tech questions that I or other people in that chat room will try to answer you. You can also find me over on Facebook and on Twitter. If you want to support me through Patreon or PayPal, donate, you can do that. And you can also contact me. My email link is right here on my YouTube page. I got my radio stations here. So you see this little spike here. Compare that to uh, on the uh, just an FM radio because I, I I can listen to FM radio on this here too. Let's try and scroll here. Here we go. So there we got um, Mars Hill, which is a radio station here. Um, I think it's out of Cape Vincent. And you can see like some of the other radio stations. You, I can listen to this. This will be audible. But it'd be kind of like a little bit uh, staticky. Now, if you go to a station that's right in my town, this one here, which is Big FM, you see in the waterfall, there's a whole lot of. <laughs> so this is a lot more bandwidth that is using compared to a, an ATSC uh, TV channel, where an analog uh, ra FM radio station just uses a lot more bandwidth in the. And with one of those channels, I was it, it was able to fit seven channels on one little carrier. So that's part of the reason why they did that repack or the digital transition is it just uses a lot less bandwidth, even for uh, an analog audio signal. Now I'll show you. I got um, one of my TV tuners has an uh, audio output and so this is what it would look like with the audio output of channel three so this is like if you were to say hook up a vcr or an over-the-air tuner box and connect the uh, rf output the channel three output to your um, software defined radio you can listen to channel three here on this 65 750 um, 0.750 megahertz and uh so that's uh, Right now I have music on this. I gotta probably turn it up here. I don't have my And I'm okay with the copyright issues with this because this is the YouTube music library. So over on my uh, I'm actually using my Allure Tech box. Uh on my Allure Talk text box, on my Allure Tech box, I'm just playing some MP3s with this. But I also have one of those um, low power um, Part 15 FCC compliant little portable or little um, uh, transmitters for FM. So I got one right here. I'll sh I'll show you that real quick. I'm just uh, testing some music here on, on an FM transmitter. So uh, it's just amazing how much bandwidth, uh, even then, and you'll hear it, it'll just be. So this radio here it has like the little dolphin on it. I just found one problem is the HF, which receives like the AM shortwave radio and uh, amateur radio CB radio frequencies does not work on this unit, which is kind of a bummer So let me know in the comments uh, if you use one of these devices and uh, what you use it for uh, Let me know in the comments if you or if you want to get one of these I'll have a link in the description so Please check out my YouTube channel Robbie strike and check out all the 
technology videos and reviews that I've done covering satellite, free to air, cell phone, how to do stuff in Linux, how to do stuff in shortwave and old technology and doing neato things with computers, 